and Stan from DG Undead Forge. Today I'm going to show you in five minutes or less how to build your own Venturi burner using a couple of plumbing pieces and a nice regular that you get online. Now let's start. This is for education purposes only. Blacksmithing and making your own tools have their own risks associated with them. By reading this, you take full responsibility for any personal injuries or damages. Do your research. Be safe and have fun. Eight inch long, three quarter inch diameter, black pipe nipple. You're going to need two black steel or black iron, inch and a quarter to three quarter inch reducers. They have, the end that's gonna be in the forge has to be black iron. You can't use galvanized because the zinc fumes can hurt you or kill you. So you're gonna need two of these and you're gonna need one, you're gonna need one cap for the inch and a quarter reducer. So you screw it, screw on, screw on the other. The regulator that you get online, some of them come with this attachment here that threads right in. But this has a 3 8 inch threaded part on there that has the same diameter hole as a MIG tip that most people make venturi burners from. You gotta drill a hole in this that'll fit this. See the cap? We gotta drill there. See, it's got a 3 8 inch and it's got a, got a very small orifice opening, just like the 0 .035 inch MIG tip that most people make their burners from. You're gonna need some calipers. Mark it, solder punch it. Now we're just cleaning out the hole. Reaming the hole just to be a little bit bigger than 3 8 just to make sure the bit will go in. Tightly without damaging the threads. You know, cut right through the tape, no problem. I'm not putting much down pressure inside. Don't quite want to cut all the way through before we start working on the other side. So maybe wear some gloves or let it cool down. Take the tape off. Look at nice. You can see we're most of the way through. We're gonna go in. There's one side to the other side. And there we have it. Now you're gonna grab your piece and make sure it still threads in. You got the hole drilled, you want to take yourself a paper towel or a rag. You already cleaned it in the sink to get all the grease out, but you're going to need some acetone, acetone or some uh, rubbing alcohol to really make sure you clean out. But you hold the flame there, angle it so you're not, you'll know when you're melting the silk, uh, solder because you're going to see it start bubbling. You're going to keep the flame going underneath. So we're going to go from one side, hold it for a few seconds, and you'll start seeing some bubbles from the flux. The solder is going to start flowing. You see it's just starting to melt. Make sure it's all melting all the way around. I'm going to use just a dry rag, kind of smooth out. Mr. Bones presentation time. Mr. Ball, you're going to borrow your leg. Ah! All right, so what you see here, the propane. Propane comes through the line, through the regulator. Then it gets forced through a small gas tip. It's a jet stream of high pressure gas. With the openings that we cut out of the nut, it has no choice but to force a vacuum and suck the air in with it. And as it goes down, the air mixes. And then once you light it, it catches it on fire, and that's your burner. The great thing about a Venturi burner is, you don't need electricity. Farriers in the past 50 years have been using gas forges instead of coal forges.
just because it's easier to use than coal. If it rains outside, as long as the inside of the forge is dry, you can light it. It's a very reliable, simple burner. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to use the products that I use in this video, there'll be links in the description. Those are affiliate links. Every time, you, every time you use my link and you buy something, I'll get a little kickback and it'll help me grow my channel to make cooler content. Speaking of cooler content, this video is going to be how to use create this simple brick forge. And look it, it's got a handle and it's balanced. So make sure, like, subscribe. There'll be links in the description to my affiliate links and also there'll be links if you want to support me more on Patreon or buy me a coffee because I want to get this, I want you guys to be able to build cool stuff like this and get better at blacksmithing and bladesmithing. So guys, remember, be safe, have fun.